But I went um, for the first is um, my older brother. It's ten years between us. When he was uh, 14, 15, he, he began to, to write. He has always a pen in his uh, pocket. Um, so this is what I heard from his friends in Sweden. They say he was more serious than us when he was at that age. So, um, but I can also remember when, when he stayed in Sweden, he had always pen and paper in his pocket, so he would write everything. Um, Dawit is generally he's a quiet person. He didn't uh, talk a lot. He, he think a, a lot of what's happening around him, and uh, especially what's happening in Eritrea. I, I remember he was my uh, language teacher in Tigrinya. So when I was teenage, so we always discuss about Eritrea. Uh, you know, he, he has always a dream to, to move back to Eritrea. I mean, um, it's a country who has struggled for 30 years for their independence. So he know that the country needs him. But many Eritreans, they say they want to do something, but most of them they didn't. Even by myself, I didn't uh, do. Uh, anything, but he, he moved uh, to Eritrea. First, he was returned between Sweden and Eritrea, but then he he, he stayed there for a, a long period. And um, just before they uh, jailed him, he he was in Sweden at, at that time. I remember when uh, we spoke in April 2001. He said, "I must go to Eritrea. I must go." It's uh, happening a lot of uh, discussion on the politics. I I have spoken to to two guys uh, who, who also was in the beginning of city era. And um, uh, they asked David to be involved because they know he was a famous person. He, he could write about culture section, about the society, and uh, ask the government, what are you doing with this and that? Um, but um, I, I have read the city after he jailed him. Uh, I mean, what they criticized the, the government was, was uh, that uh, normally we, we could uh, read here in Europe or some, some else. Uh, so um, it was not so heavy, but for, for a dictator like the uh, Eritrean government, it's enough. In Eritrea, we, we, have, we had 30 years of struggle. You had only one newspaper. Ethiopians. Then from 97 to 2001, we have around 19 different uh, newspapers. Now we are back again, then we was in 30 years, we have only one newspaper. So which means the Eritreans, they don't uh, have this opportunity to think in free, just only between 95 to 2001. For the citizen in Eritrea, it has been worse and worse. Even if it's only one state-owned media, they still jail a lot of journalists. I can take, give you an example. One of the guy who jailed together with Dawit and the, that group, he was sports journalist. He was not even interested in politics. So um, the situation in Eritrea is very, very bad now. If you if you look ten years back, um, and I think also it's our responsibility in Israel Eritrea to make some difference some changes. And I hope uh, Golden Pen Award and uh, all the attention here at the IFRA Congress can push this uh, case forward and uh, can also get more pressure at the uh, Eritrean government.